Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you that it's possible to de-anonymize a Facebook user based on the implementation of the content security policy in the current version of Google Chrome. So to make this work, we need to use Google Chrome, we need to enable third-party cookies and we need to be logged into Facebook. Next, we need to provide a list of usernames that we want to check. So, in a real-world scenario, we, could, we would go over to facebook.com slash directory slash people and would scrape the complete list of all user profiles. But since the mass scraping of, of profiles is legally not allowed, I'm not going to do that here. Instead, I'll provide a list of usernames that I'm going to check and I need to make sure that the real profile is on that list. So let's enter some more usernames and make sure that the right profile is in that list. So let me go over to facebook.com slash me to find the right username, put it in that list add more profiles to check and try to find the right profile. And it worked. So what did we just do? Let me quickly explain the content security functionality. You can think of it as some sort of whitelist of trusted domains to load external resources from. So if we have the website example.com and we attempt to load a JavaScript from code.jQuery.com, that would be possible. But if we try to load a script from evil.com, that would be denied because evil.com is not on the content security policy whitelist. So that's the intended functionality. But we can also put in complete URLs into the whitelist. So let's go ahead and put in facebook.com slash me and facebook.com slash login.php. And let's assume we're on example.com. Try to load a script element with its source set to facebook.com slash me. And let's see if the request is successful, which would mean we are not logged in, or if it's not successful, which would mean that we are logged in. And if we go one step further, we can, instead of putting facebook.com slash login.php in the CSP whitelist, let's put in a profile URL. And let's do the same check again. If it's now successful, then we know that the profile that we put in the whitelist is exactly the one we are looking for. Unfortunately, that would require to check every profile on Facebook and, well, that's not really possible. So we need to perform something like a binary search. Let's assume we have six profiles in total that we want to check, um, then we would put them all in the content security policy whitelist and see if a request to facebook.com slash me would be successful. If yes, the right profile must be on that list. So now we can go ahead and cut that list in half, take the first part and perform that check again. If that's successful, we can repeat the process, cut in half, check those profiles and see if it's either in or not. In that case, the request would fail. So we know the right profile must be in the remaining half of profiles. Sorry. So, yes, by applying that technique, we can very quickly narrow down the, the list of profiles. Let's now take a look in the source code 
and we will see that a lot of iframes have been inserted into the document and if we open one up oh wrong one sorry let's take this one that's exactly what I just explained so we are we are creating a meta element um, for the content security policy put in all the profile URLs and try to load a JavaScript with its source set to facebook.com slash me and we will report back to the parent window if this request was either successful or if it failed and well now we can narrow it down to only one profile and that's the profile we're looking for and I also put together an article where I'm going to explain that whoops that technique in more detail and I put the link um, into the comments. So I hope you found that interesting and thanks for watching.